हेलो एवरीवन अमरात्र को भौमिक एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ कोर्ट्स टुडे ऑन लाइव लॉ वे वी अपडेट यू अबाउट ऑल द सिग्निफिकेंट लीगल डेवलपमेंट्स दैट टुक प्लेस अक्रॉस द कंट्री टुडे टुडे वाज वेरी इवेंटफुल ऑन हिज सेकंड लास्ट वर्किंग डे एट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया एन वी रामना हर्ड सेवल क्रूशियल केसेस सच एज द पेगसिस बिल्किस बानो रेमिशन रिव्यू अगेंस्ट द पी एम जजमेंट probe into the security labs during the pm's visit in punjab this year we have covered what happened during these hearings in detail in separate videos please do check them out so without further ado let us start with the developments that took place today during the much awaited hearing today the supreme court took on record the sealed cover report submitted by the independent committee probing the allegations of illegal surveillance using the pegasus spyware a bench comprising chief justice of india nv ramana justice surya kant and justice hima kohli orally remarked that the government of india did not cooperate with the committee and that the government followed the same stand which it took before the court as well whereby it refused to clearly state if the spyware was purchased or not the bench also noted that the technical committee had found malware in 5 of the 29 devices that were submitted to it However it is unclear whether the malware was in fact Pegasus moreover members who had submitted their phones had made a request to the committee to not release the report thus the supreme court expressed its disinclination to bring the report in public domain and said that it will consider whether a redacted version of the report can be made available for a detailed coverage on today's hearing you can refer to our early video on this aspect the link to which has been given in the description box below in an important development the supreme court today issued notice on the petition challenging the order of the gujarat government allowing the premature release of 11 convicts sentenced to life in the bilkis bano case for gang rape and murder a bench comprising the chief justice of india and v ramana justice ajay rastogi and justice vikram nath however posed a query with respect to the legal bar on the grant of remission to the convicts during the hearing justice rastogi our senior advocate kapil sibal appearing for the petitioners as to whether it is sufficient to say that the remission is wrong merely because the act was horrific Significantly Justice Rastogi and Justice Vikram Nath were part of the bench which had ruled back in May this year that the Gujarat government has a jurisdiction to decide the remission in the case For more information on this hearing you can refer to our earlier video the link to which has been given in the description box below The Supreme Court today issued notice on a petition filed by Congress MP Karti P Chidambaram seeking review of his July 27 judgment in Vijay Mandalal Choudhary versus Union of India which upheld the power of arrest attachment seizure conferred on the Enforcement Directorate by the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002. A bench comprising Chief Justice of India and V Ramana Justices Dinesh Maheshwari and C T Ravikumar said that prima facie two aspects of the judgment upholding the provisions of the PMLA that is the Prevention of Money Laundering Act required to be reconsidered. First, regarding the legal requirement to provide the ECIR copy to the accused, and second, the reversal of the presumption of innocence. The bench also extended its order granting interim protection by 4 weeks. It may be noted that review petitions are ordinarily considered in chambers. However, in an exceptional hearing, the court yesterday allowed an open court hearing in this matter. For more information on what transpired in the court today in this hearing, you can refer to our earlier video, the link to which has been given in the description box below. The Supreme Court today deferred the petition filed by Tista Sitalwar seeking bail in the case registered by the Gujarat Anti-Terrorism Squad alleging falsification of records to implicate high state functionaries in the Gujarat riots conspiracy case. A bench comprising Justices U U Lalit, Ravinder Bhatt and Sudarshan Dholia adjourned the matter for further hearing to Tuesday that is August 30th. After Solicitor General Tushar Mehta appearing for the state of Gujarat sought time to make corrections in the response to the petition. 
During the hearing today, addressing the Solicitor General, Justice Lalit orally remarked that the court needs to test as to whether the incarceration of Tista Setalwad in the present case was required. In another important hearing, the Supreme Court today noted that the, as per the committee appointed by it, Punjab SSP Harmandeep Singh Hans had failed to discharge his duties in ensuring security of the Prime Minister during his visit to Punjab in January this year. The case which had sought probe into the security lapse during the visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Punjab in January was heard by a bench led by the Chief Justice of India, N.V. Ramana. The court had earlier appointed former Supreme Court Judge Justice Indu Malhotra to probe into the matter. The issue relates to the Prime Minister getting stuck on a flyover in Bhatinda in Punjab on January 5th after a group of farmer protesters blocked the highway. Observing that the purpose of a judgment is not to confuse the readers, the Supreme Court has urged the courts and tribunals to provide an easy-to-understand analysis of the issues of law and fact in their verdicts. A bench comprising Justices D.Y. Chandrachur and A.S. Bhopana made this crucial observation while dealing with the judgment of the Himachal Pradesh High Court, which was found to be incomprehensible. The Supreme Court thus issued a set of important guidelines to draft lucid judgments. The Supreme Court has held that a writ petition raising service disputes against private educational institutions are not maintainable if they are not governed or controlled by the statutory provisions. A bench comprising Justices Anuradha Bose and J.B. Pardewala also observed that CBSC itself is not a statutory body and that regulations framed by it has no statutory force. In this case, the Madhya Pradesh High Court had held that a writ petition filed by an employee of a private, unaided minority education institution seeking to challenge his termination from service is maintainable in law. Now let us have a look at what the developments from the High Courts and Subordinate Courts across the country are. The Delhi High Court today dismissed the appeals filed by WhatsApp and its parent company Meta, formerly Facebook, against a single bench order declining to interfere with the Competition Commission of India's investigation into WhatsApp's 2021 privacy policy. While pronouncing the order, a division bench comprising Chief Justice Satish Chandra Sharma and Justice Subramaniam Prasad said that the appeals are devoid of merits. The order was passed today after it was reserved on July 25th. The Competition Commission of India had ordered a probe into the new privacy policy of WhatsApp after making a prima facie observation that it is violative of Competition Act 2000. A single judge bench in April last year had dismissed the pleas by WhatsApp and Meta, finding no merits in the same and refused to quash the CCI probe. The Delhi High Court today sought response from the central government in a bunch of pleas challenging its Agnipat scheme and seeking resumption and enrollment as per the previous recruitment scheme in defence services. A division bench comprising Chief Justice Satish Chandra Sharma and Justice Subramaniam Prasad granted four weeks' time to the centre for filing its reply in the pleas while posting the matter for further hearing on October 19th. The bench, however, refused to pass any interim order in the meantime and said that it will be hearing the matter finally. The Allahabad High Court has directed the central government to comply with its March 7 order wherein it had directed the centre and the SSB to consider the candidature of three SSB exam candidates who were denied employment on account of certain tattoos on their forearms in case they remove such tattoos. A bench of Justice Siddharth Varma had directed the centre and the SSP that if the petitioner's tattoos are removed, then that particular disability may not be considered as an obstacle for selection on the ministerial posts for which the petitioners had applied. The Allahabad High Court has observed that mere transportation of a cow and its progeny within the state of Uttar Pradesh is not in violation of any of the provisions of the UP Cow Slaughter Act. The bench of Justice Muhammad Aslam further held that no permit is required to transport the cow and its progeny within the state of Uttar Pradesh. 
with this the court set aside an order passed by the district magistrate of varanasi to seize a vehicle on the allegation that the same was carrying animals for the purpose of cow slaughtering without valid permission in a first the delhi high court has granted bail to one jahid a rag picker arrested in connection with the clashes that broke out in the city's jahangirpuri area during a hanuman jayanti procession Jahid an 18 to 19 year old man was in custody since April 17th this year Justice Yogesh Khanna was of the view that Jahid was not identified in any of the CCTV footages the court also observed that the investigation against him was completed as charge sheet stood filed in the matter merely touching the private parts of a child with sexual intent is enough for it to be construed as sexual assault under section 7 of the Pokso Act and a medical certificate demonstrating an injury is not mandatory the bombay high court has held justice sarang kotwal dismissed the appeal by the man convicted for the sexual assault of a minor girl in 2013 in november 2017 a special pokso court had held him guilty for offenses punishable under various sections of the pokso act he was sentenced to 5 years of rigorous imprisonment thank you Keep watching Courts Today on Live Law for more such updates. If you like our content, please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you tomorrow.